hard stop. Like, it, honestly, I can feel, like, the smoothness at the top of this thing. Damn, that is so cool. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex VR, and this YouTube channel here is all about virtual reality, gameplay, and uh, interviews and product reviews. And today, I am going to be talking about my experience with these bad boys. These are the Dexmo Force Feedback Hand Tracking Haptic Gloves, designed and created by Dextra Robotics. My initial impressions, of course, are that this thing looks and feels extremely badass. Like this is some seriously futuristic uh, technology. This is the kind of thing that like I imagined would maybe exist in the future. Now it like pretty much feels like I have an exosuit robotic skeleton on my hand. It's really, really fucking cool. And honestly, I, I feel pretty lucky because I'm actually the first uh, content creator in North America to get their hands on these bad boys. Uh, VR Oasis did a video with these, it's really good, and he goes into a lot of detail about them. Um, but of course, since I had the opportunity to try them, uh, I needed to make a video and talk about my personal experiences with them here for the channel. Now I met Zelda, the uh, representative for Dexmo at CES this year, and um, she was super, super nice. We became friends right away, and uh, she was there demoing these, but without the use of a VR headset. They didn't have a, a VR our headset up and running at that time so um, I got to demo them but it was really only with uh, with a 2d flat screen display so I was super super stoked when I got to bring these home and put the headset on and be immersed in the world and then be reaching out and grabbing uh, grabbing objects with the Dexmo gloves on I think these are extremely extremely cool and while maybe not the most practical peripheral for um, like a consumer, like a gamer or something like that, I definitely see the implications of this kind of technology, especially when it comes to like real hands-on training or something like that. Now, a smaller version of something like this that's maybe more lightweight and has the ability to still kind of provide that force feedback, of course, would be amazing uh, for gamers in virtual reality. Imagine being able to reach out and, you know, grab a, a, a baseball bat or something and it really, you can feel the circular shape of the baseball bat in your hand and that is like <clears throat> next level. It's so fucking awesome. In the demo that I played, there was a few different uh, ways to kind of interact with stuff. There was first just like the straight up physics demo where you grab a few things and you interact with a couple of objects. And this is probably where I experienced the most profound of, uh, of the haptic responses. And it was on top of this fire hydrant. Like as I was running my finger over the top of the fire hydrant, it was like slipping off of the smooth button on the top. And it legitimately felt like that thing was in my hand. Now, the force feedback isn't intense. It's not painful, you know, like it wouldn't take much to just like, you know, force through it and, and rip through it, but there's enough restriction um, made by the glove to really influence your experience of touching the object, um, which is fantastic. Even running your hand over a surface that had like bumps on it or something like that, this would really emulate the feeling of that. Reaching out and touching someone, you'd be able to tell that there was something physical there. These things are extremely awesome and it would be so cool if we could get something that was consumer friendly um, to use with gaming. Uh, you know, the intention behind these gloves is definitely enterprise and training focused, you know. Um, the, the last demo that I did in, uh, in the Dexmo demos is like a fix the robot kind of situation. And I think this is a good time to mention that the Dexmo gloves don't track in VR without a tracker. So typically they have Vive trackers attached to these and they are a little bit more compact and they kind of stay out of the way and there's no, uh, there's no inputs on the Vive trackers, so they're perfect for something like this. But I don't have Vive trackers, unfortunately, so I had to use a 3D printed uh, adapt adapter attachment thing um, to hold my Vive wands in there. And while they tracked really nicely and um, they made it to where I really felt like I had my hands in VR with the force feedback response, um, I found it interesting that on the Vive controller, there was still like button inputs there. So my hand would kind of touch my trackpad and it would get me to start walking off in a direction. It made it really hard to, uh, to kind of re-coordinate because your hands are covered in the gloves and you're trying to like reach in there and, and move and it was kind of a pain in the ass but if you have the vibe trackers of course then that would not be an issue. 
Something else that I was thinking of while I was doing this is I was just at home by myself setting this up and once you get that second glove on like there's a lot going on in your hands and I was like going trying to like adjust the controller and it's and it's hard to do or I was like trying to start the stream and it was kind of tough. Um, so this is definitely the kind of thing that like you probably want a second pair of hands around to like help you get strapped in, get you comfortable and make any adjustments on the computer that need to be made for you and, and that kind of thing which is another reason why I do see it uh, more of as like a training application, more practical, like training hands-on kind of thing. Um, but the gloves themselves are really dexterous. Like uh, when I was getting ready to shoot this video, I was setting up my lights, setting up the camera and doing all of that with a, one of the gloves on my hand and I can reach out and, you know, adjust dials and do stuff. So, um, you know, it's, it's not super, super heavy, but it is noticeable there on the hand. And if you're trying to do anything other than interact with the game, they definitely can get in the way a little bit. But, you know, to be honest, this is just really, really cool. You know, this isn't something that, like, I can say that you can run out and buy because there is no consumer availability on this. Or even, I'm not even sure if, if they're selling these for, uh, for commercial use yet. Um, I just feel super, super lucky and thankful to my friend Zelda from Dexmo here that I had the opportunity to bring these home and play with them because this is just, it's just awesome, you know? Like, it, you don't even need to find, like, an amazing practical use for it at this point to appreciate what's happening here. You know, I imagine um, in a couple of years this will get a little lighter, it'll get cheaper, and developers will probably start to implement more ways to make VR feel like we are connected to the world. And haptic response um, and, and force feedback response is an inevitable uh, progression to that. You know, I mean, we, we have all of our other senses being manipulated in virtual reality and it's only a matter of time before we really get our nerves and the force feedback kind of thing implemented. So my hat really goes off to Dexmo here. This is super, super cool. I had a blast playing around in the demos with these and it really got me thinking about how amazing it's gonna be when in, I'm gonna guess, I don't know, maybe four or five years, we'll have something at home where you can reach out and grab an item and it feels like it's in your hand. Super, super cool. Now this is not the only piece of cutting edge technology that I have here to demo. So if you like this kind of stuff, definitely click subscribe, um, you know, click the like button here, leave a comment below and uh, let me know what you think about this. And uh, I don't know, maybe start taking some guesses as to what something like this might cost because I don't think it's cheap. So that's another reason why we probably won't see it in our homes anytime soon. But uh, like I said, I just feel lucky and, uh, and I feel very, very thankful to my friend Zelda at Dexmo for sending these my way and giving me the opportunity to, to play around with these in my house for a little while because this is just cool. It's just fucking cool. It's a robotic exosuit with haptic feedback. And uh, I mean, I can't say anything other than the fact that this is super badass and I can't wait to see what comes from Dexmo here in the future. So thank you again for watching. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel, please. Check out my uh, Between Realities podcast over on a separate YouTube channel there. Uh, we have amazing guests from the VR community show up over there and uh, have a lot of fun joking around and, and doing interviews with them. So um, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks again, we will see you soon.